I should be asleep and technically I've fulfilled my quota of uh, how many videos per day or how much time I'm supposed to spend on each video but I'd like to stay awake because it's actually 11.28 a.m. which is uh, the time when normal people are awake and I'm a normal person. Uh, I, I am. Um, you are? No, I, I'm not trying to be affected or anything. I'm normal and um, uh, I have things happen to me and uh, I'm not, yeah, whatever. So, anyways, um, I've been learning from this YouTube video how to play this song and uh, it's Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. I think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Yeah, so I'm tripping out a little bit from the lack of sleep. You go to sleep after this? <laughs> no, I, I don't know, maybe I'll sleep eventually. I, I, I want you to sleep at some point today and it would be nice if you're awake for the dinner I'm going to cook. Oh, that's a good point. <sighs> well, you know, even if I fell asleep right now, I'd be sleep deprived during dinner. Okay. Like either way, if I, if I stay awake until dinner, I'll be super sleep deprived. If I sleep so you'll be slightly less sleep deprived if you sleep an hour soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, okay, so I realize my situation is fucked. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm in drop detuning right now. Um, but I think the last video, and maybe also the video before, I did drop detuning so I could play this song. All I figured out from this YouTube video is uh, the intro, he then goes into the like chorus verse, whatever, the part where you get to sing inside of our pool, and I don't know how to sing very well. And also, I am very bad at singing while playing the guitar at the same time. But anyways, I got this part down at least, I think, so it goes... Okay, just... I, I find the less I talk, the better I do. Please tell me I'm, that does sound like semi-accurate. Yes, it does. Yeah. said something about E.
playing there. Hard. Oh, fuck. My pool. Fuck your poop. Yes. See, and this is e-tuning. So how am I supposed to do this with e-tuning? I do not even know. No, I don't want that. I don't know how to read this. What's my boy?
Because like it's not my voice. Plus, I'm pretty sure this song doesn't apply to me at all. It just has really cool, like the the guitar part is really cool, but the lyrics I'm pretty sure do not apply to me. Like, I don't think you eye me like a Pisces when I am weak. And I don't think I've been trapped inside your heart-shaped box for weeks. Yes. You would agree? No, I, no, I do not even agree. And, and um, I don't think I'm magnet by your bear trap. I'm left weak. No. <laughs> What's the lyric? I've been drawn into your magnet target trap. <laughs> and then I'm left weak. Emma. The the last part. She asked me like I would like to set my heart 
Jake Fox for a week. I've gone into your magnet tar pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. No. Meat eating organs for you. But wait, uh, you're sc no, wait, wait, start at the very beginning. She eyes me like a Pisces when I am weak. I've been locked inside your heart shaped box for a week. I've been drawn into your magnet tar pit trap. I wish I could eat your cancer when you turn black. Of course. Yeah. Meat eating orchids forgive no one just yet. Cut myself on angel hair and baby's breath. Broken hymen of your highness, I'm left black. Throw down your umbilical noose so I can climb right back. Okay. I don't know how you can say that, that it doesn't apply to you when like the lyrics don't really make any sense. No, they make, they make some sense. I, 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 don't, I don't specifically know what he means, but she eyes me like a Pisces. Like, what, do you know anything about astrological signs? Apparently, my aunt, aunt said once that Pisces are known for their eyes. Apparently, well, I, eyes. I assume he's saying... Um, she looks at me with hung hungry, greedy eyes. Maybe. Um. So she has me like a Pisces when I am weak. Like she has these hungry eyes for me. Um, maybe because or despite the fact that he's weak and he's been trapped inside her. I don't really like analyzing song lyrics. <laughs> no, but you said they have no meaning. And I'm saying. No, no, I, I didn't really mean that. I meant they're, they're really abstract. Yeah, but okay, but I think they do have meaning and that uh, they do not apply to me. Okay. <laughs> it, it's basically a song hated on a, at least one woman. I didn't think so. You don't think so? I do not. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's a love song. A love? Okay, so I don't. But you, you I think, think it's. I think it's about a lot of things, and I don't. I'm not completely comfortable discussing this anymore. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Don't be sad. considering the amount of time I generally spend on other songs. You, you, you've noticed I usually spend like at most two minutes on each part of what I practice. Yeah. Like the long song, though. for example, or like... I don't think it's weird that you're not, though. But I think this song, this is probably one of my favorite Nirvana songs. And like I said, I don't, like, I have a weird relationship with Nirvana in that, like, it's very easy, like, I, f I fit the target demographic, <laughs> I think, okay. in terms of age and personality or whatever. Yeah. But I fit it so well that I don't want to fit it, if that makes sense. Sort of. Um, so... It doesn't not make sense. Well, they're like, they're the Beatles of the 90s, I guess, except they only had, like, three official albums and then a, what was Incesticide, whatever, okay, yeah, I know a lot about them, I admit, but I don't think I'm really a fan, like, in the terms of, like, people, you know what I'm saying, like, sort of, I'm, I'm I, I just got very camera shy, oh, okay, well, I'm, sorry, should I stop talking, you can talk, I just made that answer, <laughs> okay, so I, I don't think I'm that much of, a fan considering they're basically the Spice Girls of the early 90s. <laughs> I know you, you, you disagree. 
uh, if I may say, I think you disagree, but you, in terms of pop, the, in terms of the fact that they were like hugely popular and made a huge cultural impact, like the Spice Girls did all kill themselves at age twenty seven, <laughs> but <laughs> which kind of would have been cool, <laughs> but, but um. Uh, but yeah, um, I forget what I was going to say. Anyway, so they're, they're like extremely popular, and I don't know if this is fake blood or real blood. Anyways, uh, they're extremely, they, they are slash were extremely popular, and they're like the Beatles of the 90s and that, like, at least from like 91 to 94, um, I think like record sales may contradict this, but in terms of like the most famous band from that time, do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is definitely Nirvana. And um, so I think like the way I think of it is like in the 60s and 70s, you had all these 27 club guys and like. I don't even, like, I wasn't alive, and I wasn't really alive really for the 90s. Like, I was like six years old, so I didn't know what was going on. But, like, it, it's it's kind of like a revival. That, okay, yeah, I should just stop talking. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So, but you're also a bit rambly. Yeah, I am. But, yeah, basically, they're, they're like an extremely popular group that one of their main messages is don't support popular groups. And I think that's, that was a part of kind of why he killed himself. <laughs> but that just made him even more popular, so I, I mean, he had to know that. <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. Either he's not dead or whatever. But for the sake of argument, he's dead. Um, I never even considered it until Michael Jackson died. I mean, like, tu like when Tupac died, I thought, okay, it's kind of weird they're coming out with songs after Tupac is dead. Um, but when Michael Jackson, I don't know. It's just crazy talk. I, this is like institution talk. You're yeah. really tired, man. <laughs> I, I am tired, but um, I... It's only a delusion if it's not shared by anyone else, and what I'm talking about is shared by other people. I'm not talking about what you're saying, I'm <laughs> talking about the fact that you're like rambling and going from one subject to another. They're connected, I I can explain if I, I don't know, if, if you were responding anyway, or I had sleep and I could talk quickly. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying, I'm saying you're... you're, you're I'm not saying you're tired because you're saying that stuff. I'm saying you're tired because you're not, like, getting your ideas across in any coherent way. Yeah. Okay. That's true. And I'm... I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh... Uh... uh but I must complete my task. <laughs> of it's that I'm not hearing it's just the bass. So okay. Yeah. There's a lot of bass in this one. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I kind of got into Green Day a little bit. I almost sang it. I don't know if it's because you're here. Like, when you're here, I'm inspired to do more, but I'm also inspired to hide the, like, big... <laughs> like, y you know when you're alone, you're like, I can make a huge mistake and no one's gonna care. Yeah. And when you're here, um, I care. That's good. Instead of, I mean, we can try some sappy, but um, it's not wrong that I'm trying to learn guitar at my age, is it? No. Like it's a young man's pursuit. Pursuit. It's a young man's game.
talking about the music. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Heart-shaped box has no meaning. I think it's just very difficult to figure out the meaning. Yeah, but I think in general it's kind of like a hating on what women saw. That's not how I took it. But. Or like, it's like it's like a, I just got done to saw. You know what I mean? Like. I think you can interpret it in a whole bunch of different ways. Yeah. Or or I don't is. There's one where he talks about like being trapped inside his marriage or something. I don't remember that. He doesn't. He never talks about that. Not that I remember. He 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 kind of like talks some crap about Courtney in that least one song, right? Um, I guess so. I oh, oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not even like like talking about the conspiracy theory that Courtney killed him. I'm just saying like there was. They did occasionally have fights, but they probably still loved each other. Yes, they had a tumultuous relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because I I was beginning to think I was completely crazy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like he probably wrote at least one time where he's like, I am anger. Yeah, he does. He, he's like, I do not like. He he wrote anti love songs like. Yeah. Okay. Never said he didn't. <laughs> okay, okay, and I just think heart shaped box is. I, I get what you're saying that it can be interpreted different ways. Yeah, well, but, look, I think we're just having a difference of opinion in a song that, that is not, it's not like, I love you or I hate you, it's just like a... But I've been trapped inside a box for weeks, like that. No, it's your heart-shaped box. So that would, but how would that be better? I, I, I mean, yeah, it would be better. But, um, you're still inside a box. <laughs> so if you in a box. <laughs> That's how it would be better, you see? You see how it would be in a box? Yeah. You're in a box? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just gonna play some love song. See, and, see, and there is a song that is clearly a love song. <laughs> no, but even that... <coughs> I was I was saying last night I was saying love songs like a love song and you were saying yeah but it's also a depression song or something. The Jack of Joe version can be seen as a like f 
fuck you, I'm always gonna love you, you bastard who dumped me. But it's it all depends on how it's sung. Okay. Uh, and that, I was I was arguing it's also like a I don't have a girlfriend and I'm very alone song. Yeah, it could be. See, all songs can be interpreted several ways. Okay. song really well even though I never like intentionally listened to it which okay. is different from you probably but I know yeah like like I I I obviously I'm not playing it even close to almost correct <laughs> but yes. my point is like you know how like when you have a feel of a song from listening to it, you are better at playing it. Yeah. I get that sensation playing this song. Like, I feel like I know this song. Well, that is good. But I, it's back when I was smoking weed and listening to music, uh, this is not one of the songs that I was listening to. Um,
it's gonna it's actually surprise him because yeah, that you're tired. <laughs> yeah, no, but also I have a fairly set routine that um, I'm completely deviating from, and just the fact that I'm indulging myself in uh, what I consider the fun parts of yeah. my routine. Like I'm basically, yeah. Uh, so it just seems like it would be longer. Um, I love you. Love you. But I just run into these roots. for CNA. Yay! Okay, now we're going to go back to drop D because I want to do that thing some more. How loud are you? How loud are you? It's okay, I stay up late and be with my mom. <laughs> yes, but I do think you should sleep just for your own health. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, like, I'm not operating heavy machinery. I know, but you will feel better if you make a sleep. That was a little bit of a joke. Oh, okay. You see, my guitar is heavy machine. Yes. It's a heavy machine. I guess that joke would be more effective if I was playing metal. Yes. Or industrial. Or some industrial, that would be perfect. <laughs> what is industrial again? Loud, clanky stuff. It's like really, it's like a mix of techno and metal, kind of. Like, and, and please don't, YouTube people, please don't like tell me why I'm wrong four million times. This is gonna get like two views at the most. <laughs> Whatever, it's still on the internet. And you are still small. Uh, no, maybe 15 years from now, people who are literally babies right now. 15 years from now, this video will have 10,000 views, and the 15 year olds, because right well, now. Well, yeah, I reinvented techno. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and there's this kind of music called Ben Robinson Jam. Oh, no. The reason why it takes. Like, in 15 years, I'll be like. The most more, famous person on earth? The, the, like. I don't know. Sorry, should I. I feel like, I feel like taking a shit on Bono. <laughs> <laughs> <Sounds good. laughs> but uh, so I'm gonna be like Bardo. Um, I don't know. See, like I was asking my friends when I first started, like actually putting effort into learning the guitar. I I don't know if you've heard of this comedian called Bill Burr. No, I don't think so. Well, he's a stand-up comic, and um, he's achieved what. Um, like in the stand in the world of stand up comedy, he's like at the top of the game. Okay. He's like the top of the pyramid. In the world of like entertainment, he's like he's he at least has his foot in the door. You, do do you kind of know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um. So, anyways, my my point is, uh, Belper uh, started uh went stand up when he was thirty. Oh, cool. Um, and most stand-ups don't start till you know, at least 20. They're, they're, like, Bill Hicks started at 14 or something. But Bill Hicks is God. Yeah, and, but yeah, the majority of stand-ups don't start till 20 and, like, 25 even, and, you know, so, anyways, Bill, Bill Burr started at 30, which is unusual. The only other person like that is Rodney Dangerfield. Did he start when he was really old? Uh, he started in his twenties, then he stopped and became a salesman. A, oh God! Al aluminum, you aluminum siding salesman. <laughs> That's funny. But apparently he kept up with his jokes, and so he came back and is there a, is What's a, up for aluminum siding for? I don't know. I, it may have been a huge scam that like just basically everyone believed in the scam and. 
like fluorescent lights. Buy the stuff lights. that you don't need. Fluorescent lights are white. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. There's probably something in this house right now that is an overpriced piece of garbage <laughs> that, that we bought because we're supposed to buy it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, Rodney, uh, I think he started up again at like 34 or something. But anyways, the, the story of Bill Burr, and Bill Burr is still active and like doing stuff and so his story isn't over. Mm -hmm. uh, but the story of Bill Burr, the reason why he's inspirational is because he started at age 30 and reached what in the world of stand-up is like the top of the game, right? Okay. Um, so I, I think he's in his 40s now. Um, so anyways, when I was starting up the guitar, I asked like, is there, a, is there a bell burr of guitar playing? And pr pretty much unanimously everyone said like, no, all guitar players start when they're 14. <laughs> you know, I like, don't think that's true. No, yeah, no, but I, I'm, I, I, I would guess like maybe like jazz guitar or I don't know. And also like um I don't think I particularly want to be famous. For example, you know how I get really paranoid when I'm walking down the street that everyone's looking at me and stuff? And yet you make videos, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, well I'm I'm really paranoid that everyone's looking at me and it's most likely a symptom of my mental illness, or at least to some degree is, like maybe some people look at me or whatever. Yeah. But, um, like, based on the fact that that scenario has made me so anxious, mm -hmm. I don't think I'd handle fame very well. This is, yeah, <laughs> I know what you mean. And I don't think a lot of famous people handle it very well. Anyway, so, yeah. I, I don't know why I'm trying to ask like ask people like can I still make it and I, you know what what does it mean to make it and I'm sure whoever's watching this video really cares a lot about this <laughs> like shut up and play. <laughs> songs that I'm teaching myself right now they're like incredibly like I can I'm a I'm a novice or a beginner but I can tell that these songs are incredibly simple and if I want to say like will I make it like will I c get to the point where I can make a song like this you think so yeah well like, as long as I don't give up on my life like it's yeah. it, I, I don't think that's I, I think it's perfectly reasonable to believe that I could create a song like that. Yeah. <coughs> or even a good song. <laughs> no, no, these are all very good songs. They're simple but creative. Yeah.
think you are right, and I need some sleep. I love you. I love you. <laughs> you love me, hoo hoo hoo. I love you. I, I'm just laughing because I'm going to turn off the camera and have some caffeine. Wait, why are you going to have some caffeine? <laughs> you need sleep. I need sleep, but I need to be awake. Please, I, no, please go to sleep, please. Uh, please. Uh, I, uh, uh,